Okay, real life. This is what it looks like to pack <laughs> for a nine day backpacking trip. I mean, shit's just everywhere. And my beautiful assistant, hey Tucker. Saturday, August 29th, around 3.30 p.m., leaving Rainy Pass. Just uh, signed the roster, parked my car, used the pit toilet, and now I'm going to Canada. Well, to the border. I'm gonna tag the Northern Terminus and then come back. So I'll be here out for eight days and uh my bag is loaded the heaviest thing in my bag is my food it's ridiculous this is by far the longest food carry i'll have ever done on trail because um from here until the border there's no towns there's nowhere to resupply there's hearts pass but there's no stores there or anything. So I'm carrying all my food. My gear is lighter, but this is seriously all food. And uh, the store seemed to have only the largest Gatorade bottle ever. So I have a very large Gatorade bottle to mix my powdered Gatorade, but I'm super excited. I've been planning this trip for a while. So after everything got canceled this year with COVID, so I was supposed to go backpack the Grand Canyon. I was gonna go do Mount St. Helens, and all that got canceled. So now I'm hiking the PCT, and I picked this spot because number one, it's the most beautiful section in all of Washington. This was my second favorite section on the entire PCT, right after the JMT section in the High Sierra, and. Uh, it's very COVID friendly out here. I'm not going into towns to resupply. I literally left from my house, came straight to the trailhead, didn't stop anywhere in between. So then I'll be out here for the next eight days. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. And the weather is supposed to be amazing. It's looking pretty perfect. So cold at night, but that's okay. I'm just super excited. Looking at a sky so clear So much to discover here 
setting out on my own All the places I can go It's a long, 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 long and winding road All these answers left to find Many mountains left to climb No, there's valleys down below I got so much room to grow It's a long, 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 long and winding road Just set up camp. Um, not in an ideal spot. The site is kind of slanty, and I wouldn't even really call this a spot. The spot I wanted was just up the hill a little bit, um, but someone was already there. And the next spot after that was not for a while. So, um, you know, it's the first night on the PCT. It's, I know it's not going to be perfect, but. Um, the view is amazing, and I have my sandwich that I'm going to have for dinner, and some blue Gatorade. I've got an incredible view of the North Cascades, and I'm really freaking excited. The wind was a little questionable when I got here. It's not too bad now. I have a feeling it's gonna be really cold tonight, so I'm prepared. I've got some down booties, I've got my brand new quilt, and um, I've got all my layers, so we'll see how it goes. Check out the view. Good morning from the PCT. I guess this is my day two. Kind of had a, a mini day yesterday for my day one. Only hiked in about four and a half or five miles right before Cutthroat Pass. Set up on a very slanty tent site. Started out very windy last night and then the wind died down and it was so quiet. Like, so quiet that any noise you heard, you're like, oh my God. What was that? So, I slept okay, but it was really warm. Love my new quilt and my down booties. Just hiked up over Cutthroat Pass and missed the sunrise, but that's okay because it's still really beautiful up here. Today is gonna be just an easy 16 mile day. Um, 
taking it easy on these first couple of days. Just warm up my hiker legs. And then I'll start doing 20 mile days. So, really excited. It's so beautiful up here, just as I remembered. And it's only gonna get more beautiful. It's 9.15, hiked uh, almost six miles. Woke up this morning at 5.30, started hiking at 6.30, which for me, that is really early. Mm. Yeah. And uh, it's so beautiful, so, so beautiful. There's people out here, not a lot. Um, I've met some through hikers, Coyote and Rabbit Foot. They were camping at the top of Cutthroat Pass. Which is beautiful. I'm on the top of Methow Pass, I think is how you say it. Um, and just below here is where we had camped um, in 2018. So I stopped there and took some pictures, but then I stopped here because from here the trail goes down for a while and into some trees and I still haven't had breakfast. Um, so I wanted to make sure I worked up a really good appetite and could enjoy my breakfast with a view. You can see the trail way over there. Um, but it's so beautiful and the weather is perfect. There's no bugs, there's the occasional bee or flying something, but there's no biting flies, there's no mosquitoes, and it's gorgeous. It's so pretty, oh my god. Just as pretty as I remember. All right. <laughs> and uh, I'm trying to eat as much as my food as possible because my food bag is ridiculous. Like, I don't even... 
I'm kind of glad I didn't weigh it because it's it's kind of out of control. <sighs> so, eating my first holy moly breakfast bar. Mmm. 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 Everything tastes better on the PCT, let's be honest. I'm a sucker for cute bridges. lovely lunch spot today. I would have filmed me making lunch, but it was kind of a shit show. <laughs> I decided I wanted to cook down here because there was water, and where I want to camp tonight, I don't think there's water. And so, instead of making two packages of ramen, or instead of making one package of ramen, I made two, and dropped the first package, and I'm hiker trash, so I put it back in my pot. And then I filtered water here and I had to take everything out of my bag because I couldn't find my spoon. Well, I found my spoon, but it was all the way at the bottom of the place in my pack that I keep it. <laughs> and um, yeah, just, I'm so out of practice. I, I feel like a newbie out here, but whatever, who cares? I am taking my time and I'm having so much fun. I'm meeting other uh, through hikers, so it's weird to say, oh, I'm section hiking, because um, I'm so used to saying that I'm a through hiker, but it's cool that there's other hikers out here, because I didn't know if there was going to be anyone out here, but definitely not alone. Okay, so I have my bag all put back together, and now I've got two and a half miles and 1,200 foot climb to my campsite. Go hiking. <laughs> 